So, you're thinking of buying a penny board. Should you even buy a penny board to begin with though, and which type is best for you? For those that might not know, a penny board refers to a 22 inch skateboard that has a plastic waffle cone type deck and is roughly four pounds in weight. Penny Skateboards is an actual company based out of Australia that designs and creates these penny boards. Now, there's a lot of knockoff and fake versions of penny boards. So in general, I'm gonna be referring to any 22 inch penny plastic skateboard. There are different things you can do with boards. And so the first thing I wanna assess is what are your goals with riding? What do you wanna get out of this? Are you somebody that's wanting to learn tricks? Or are you somebody that just wants to cruise around your neighborhood? Furthermore, do you wanna ride in a certain style? Do you wanna go downhill? Do you wanna mimic surfing or carving really hard like a snowboard? These are things that only you can answer. But to help you figure it out, here's what I think. If you are generally thinking of doing any sort of tricks, buy a traditional skateboard. Penny boards are not designed for tricks. Is it possible to do tricks on a penny board? Absolutely. But you're only making it harder for yourself because of the limitation of the actual deck itself. The tail is extraordinarily tiny and there isn't really a nose on the board. Additionally, there's no grip tape. So attempting to do tricks on this is possible. But again, you're only making it harder for yourself. Penny boards in their right are designed for cruising. Cruising is the ultimate activity when riding a penny board. If you're trying to just cruise around your neighborhood or go from point A to point B, if you're just cruising for X amount of time, a penny board would be great. It's an easy option to choose from, is really smooth, and can get you around your neighborhood just fine. However, if you're planning to commute, you may want a actual cruiser board because those boards can help you commute a little bit easier. However, you can upgrade from a penny board to like a nickel board or other, other version of a penny board on their line. If you are wanting to do any downhill riding, I don't really recommend doing penny boards as you're more likely to get hurt because the surface area is pretty small. For that matter, I'd recommend getting into long boards and downhill specific type boards. So you may be wondering, Tyler, what's the purpose? Why would anybody even buy a penny board in the first place if it seems like all these other boards are great? Two reasons. The first pro that the other boards do not have is portability. The penny skateboard in itself is so tiny. This thing is 22 inches long and about six inches wide. And this thing is just built for travel. This thing can fit in a backpack. It can fit in your locker. It can fit on an airplane. You can take this pretty much anywhere, internationally or domestic. So carrying it around is just a breeze. Now, the other reason people do penny board is for the lifestyle. Now, I made a video entirely about this, so I'm not going to go into super crazy detail. If you want to check it out, I'll leave it in a link in the description below. But basically, if penny boarders have a distinct style and aesthetic to them. So if you have any desire to like join the crew, then feel free to grab a penny board itself. The other thing I do want to mention, I want to look at your experience riding boards as well. If you have no experience riding any sort of board, whether that be a skateboard, longboard, snowboard, surfboard, anything, I would probably recommend you get the 27 inch nickel board instead of the 22 inch penny board or really any other board for that matter, whether it be a skateboard or longboard. Greater surface area means that you're going to be more stable and more balanced, which means you're going to be able to be a little bit more confident when learning how to ride. Now, if you have previous skateboard or longboard experience and you're looking for an alternative to just cruise around your neighborhood and not have any real pressure to do any tricks or do anything crazy and you just want to get out and cruise and like shut off your brain the penny board would be a perfect addition to your arsenal and i love the simplicity of the penny board and i love the portability and that's why i picked one up so if you're anything like me get one and have some fun if not no worries there's so many other boards and you can have fun in so many other ways